Come on in. Be part of the show. In 1927, the Lithia Water Fountain was installed in Ashland Plaza. Was it because there was a natural spring right here and some fun-loving locals thought it'd be a hilarious tourist prank? Of course not. Joe Valkenstein here with some more gym information for you. You know, this fountain was a final consolation prize after 13 years of squabbling between parks, council committees, the Ashland Tidings, and many prominent citizens. Sound familiar? I know. And the water is actually piped from four miles away. The natural spring is over near the Ashland Airport. Why? We'll come back in time with me. Baloo, 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 baloo. In 1907, Lithia water, thought to have health benefits and ailment curing qualities, was discovered near Emigrant Creek. But the private landowner just wanted to build their own health spa and not share with the city of Ashland. So in 1914, a mineral springs committee was created to find another Lithia water spring. Oh, they found one, where the Ashland gun range is now and proposed piping that spring all the way to Lithia Park where Ashland could create a mineral water spa economy like Saratoga Springs. To make that happen and develop the landscaping in Lithia Park, Ashland passed a $175,000 bond. This is when John McLaren, designer of Golden Gate Park, was brought in to redesign the park. This was 1914. Fun fact, 100,000 of that went for the four mile Lithia water pipe and only 75,000 for the park. Over the next two years, the pipeline was constructed, originally out of wood, bringing Lithia water all the way to Lithia Park, and John McLaren built roads, and planted trees and created spaces, and parks put in a automobile camping area, culminating in a spectacular three-day 4th of July celebration in 1916. Soda water, sulfur water, and Lithia water each had their own gazebo, there was Satan's Sulphur Spring Grotto. It was a hell of a thing. Thousands flocked to Ashland. After that, surprise, bickering began again. Later that year, a private investor wanted to build a sanitarium in Lithia Park to use the Lithia water and the sulfur water and the soda water. Voters said no. There was an attempt to recall Water Commissioner Bert Greer, also the editor of the Ashland Tidings. It failed, and he sponsored a vote to put the Water Commission in charge. That vote backfired, and the Water Commission was disbanded in 1917. In 1920, millionaire Jesse Winburn brought a bunch of money to town and built a big house at the top of the watershed. He called it Sap and Salt. He bought swans for the Lithia Park Pond from Holland for $75 apiece. He paid to finish building the community hall. He paid for the Granite City Hospital. He chipped in for hotels and a pipe organ for Pioneer Hall and promised to build a resort around the Lithia Water. But he also ran his cattle wherever he wanted to and got lots of fines from the city. Finally, he and longtime newspaper editor Bert Greer both got tired of the city council and left town in 1924. The city had already piped the lithia water four miles into the middle of Lithia Park and named a bunch of stuff Lithia. With nobody left to create a spa, sanitarium, or bottling plant, all of the hotel owners said, we'll at least put a drinking fountain or something in the plaza to bring in the tourists. So in 1927, after 13 years of big ideas and bond measures and bickering and ballot issues and recall threats, this fountain was built. A consolation prize, if you will. No spas in the park, just a fountain in the plaza. And then, off to argue about sawmills or something. That was 100 years ago. Ashland. The same stuff we used to do in black and white, now we just do it in color. Since 1927, things have changed along the route. Let's follow the pipe. The actual Lithia Spring is out here at the gun range off of Immigrant Creek. That's right, uh, there, there's a pump in one of these small huts out here, and if the fountain's not working, it's usually because of the pump. Lithia water isn't easy on pump parts, apparently. From here, we head towards the airport, under the road, under the runway, under the creek, then along East Main, under the freeway and following East Main all the way into town. An old timer told me that there was a fountain here at the police station. 
And there was also a fountain at Triangle Park, just like the one at the Banshell Gazebo. See the resemblance? There was also a fountain at the Train Depot. The Train Depot used to be a hell of a thing. Three stories at the end of 4th Street. The pipe crosses over to the front of a library where the Mickelson Chapman statue used to be the Mickelson Chapman Fountain. It had four spigots where the steel plates are now. More coolness, right? Then uphill on Hargadine, the pipe follows Hargadine, and when it hits South Pioneer, it splits. One pipe heads up to the bandshell and crosses the creek using the classy and elegant attach a hose to a wire and hang it in the air technique. The other pipe crosses the OSF bricks under City Hall and down to the plaza. Boom! The fountain itself has been changed over the years. It used to be ice cold water. A giant refrigerator was in the ground underneath the fountain. They have swapped out basins. And in 2006, it was closed for a year while it was completely refurbished, cleaned, redesigned with lithia water resistant valves and hoses, and the constant bubblers were added to eliminate pressure issues. Thank you to George Kramer and John Galbraith. The lithia fountain. Sometimes the consolation that you agree to at the last minute, this fountain, turns out to be the greatest decision you ever had. Just like uh, Brock Purdy, the quarterback for the 49ers, or that late in life third child you decided to have. Ashland grows while lithia flows. That was a catchphrase back in the day. Lithia water isn't flowing very consistently, and neither is Ashland's growth. Ah, lithia water and Ashland growth. Everyone will tell you how great those two things are, but not many can handle very much of either one. My name is Jim Falkenstein, and that right there is some historical gym formation for you.